Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm finally back with one video and in today's video I'm going to be sharing the notes I made for the lesson work and energy. So work and energy is from physics and it has only three main concepts so it's a very small lesson and uh, because of that the notes is also only one page. And the reason why I made this notes to start my note series is because uh, many of you guys and even my friends had told me that this lesson is very boring. But in reality, I actually find this lesson quite interesting. So I've made my notes in such a way that you enjoy reading this lesson because it's full of colors, diagrams, bullet points and what not. So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining my notes because it's in a very coded manner. And also it is going to act as a revision for you. Because if you're a person who already knows this lesson, then when I'm explaining the notes, it'll jog your memory up. Or even if you don't know anything about this lesson, I've got you. Because this will act as a basic introduction for you. So whoever you are, I hope you find this video very helpful. And also make sure to check the description box below for the PDF of this notes. And you can also find the password in the next line because this PDF is actually password protected. I don't know why, but when I was saving the PDF, I saved it as password protected. So yeah, this resource is completely free. I would like to tell that now only. It's completely free. You can check it anytime you want. And you can even download the notes and take a printout of it to use it offline. Or if you want, you can always view it online too. So without any further ado, let's get started. I finally got the notes here. And as you can see, the first uh, thing is the heading, of course, work and energy. And in this chapter, there are three main concepts, as I already told, work, energy, and power. So all the subheadings, you can find it in the margin. I've given it in purple color. So now, as soon as we see the notes, the first thing we find is this little man with something on his head written as 8 kg. So basically, I've this is an example from the NCRT textbook. And all my examples are NCRT textbook only. And this note is completely full extracted from NCRT textbook. And I've also taken some references from Oswald. So you get both the worlds. Okay, anyways now, so first in this blue pen, I've written that he, I've explained this image. So he's carrying a heavy load for 10 minutes. So this is the example they gave in our textbook. And this is the example I found useful for me to understand this chapter. And then here they've given you are very tired. Because you're carrying a heavy load for 10 minutes, you'll obviously be very tired because you've exerted energy. But have you done work in scientific conception? This example is only for those people who actually do not know anything about this chapter and you want to get introduced to the topic of work, then you can see this example. But anyways, if you already know this chapter, I mean like if you have already done your studies on this chapter, then you don't need this. Let's skip to the next part. So in red pen, here I've written a question. My notes is revision. So revision, the best way to do revision is active recall. That's why it's in a question and answer format. So first you have a question here. What are the conditions that need to be satisfied for work to be done? And I've given the two conditions that are necessary too. Now, I would recommend you to read the whole notes once after this video, of course. Go to the PDF and read this whole notes once. Then you again go through this notes. And that time you ask the question. And do not see the notes, but try attempting the answer yourself. Then you see the notes. So that is active recall because you're questioning yourself. And that time you will actually ask your memory to do some work. So yeah, anyways, here I've put two diagrams again. So in this diagram, there is this smiley face, which is nothing but the object. And I've given an arrow on top of it, which is written as N. So N is nothing but Newton, which is the SI unit of force, as you already know. So when the force is acting on this object, smiley face, then it is one of the conditions that need to be satisfied for work to be done. In the second, we have a smiley face and another smiley face, but both the smiley face are one. So when this smiley face moves to this place, so it, it is moving a distance, right? So that is nothing but displacement and an object must be displaced. So these two are the conditions that need to be satisfied for work to be done. Then uh, we have this point that you already, you just have to read to understand it, which is nothing but work as a scalar quantity. And then we have its SI unit. And I would like to explain these two uh, lines or uh, these, these three lines as these are only coded. So work is equal to plus if angle between force and displacement is acute or displacement is in the direction of applied force. So this is nothing but the work is positive. So plus here indicates positive. So the work is positive if the angle between the force and displacement is acute angle. So this is nothing but the symbol for acute angle. So that's why I've made this small diagram to remember. So the work is positive if the distance, I mean if the angle between the force and displacement is an acute angle or if the displacement is in the direction of applied force. For example, like we have two, uh, we have an object and the force is acting in this direction. So when this object moves here, 
then the work done is positive or if we have this object and the force is acting in this direction but the work is moving here so that time the work will be negative which is nothing but our next point work done is negative if the angle between the force and displacement is obtuse or the displacement is in the opposite direction of the applied force then we have that the work done is zero when displacement is zero so then in this pink boxes you may find pink boxes in the notes so pink boxes are nothing but formulas or something very important to remember okay so in this pink box i've given the formula for work work is nothing but fs which is force into displacement this is small s okay so work is equal to force into displacement then we come to the topic energy so what is energy energy is nothing but the capacity of an object or a system to perform work then we have the two types of energy which is kinetic energy and potential energy i've written it in plain english so you can always understand it if you just read it and these are the definitions by the way and under potential energy we have the gravitational potential energy which is again written in plain english then we again see that the si unit is joule and then we have also seen that 1 kilo joule is equal to 1000 joule and this is the formula for kinetic energy and potential energy so ek is nothing but kinetic energy and ep is potential energy and m here is mass v is velocity mass acceleration due to gravity and height so next we go to oh before going to power we have the law of conservation of energy so if you remember in the lesson atoms and molecules we again have a law of conservation but for what it is you need to tell me in the comment section anyways law of conservation of energy so here it says that energy can neither be created nor destroyed but can be transformed from one form to another then i have another formula box which is nothing but work done is final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy so it's the difference between two kinetic energies we have this formula will be very helpful for you to solve problems or you know in those uh, types now let's move to the third last concept which is power so power is the rate at which work is done which is nothing but ratio of work and time it's a scalar quantity which means it has only magnitude but no direction si unit is watt and in the commercial unit of energy is kilowatt which is uh, kilowatt hour so k w h then we have the formula for the average power so average power is nothing but total energy divided by the total time taken then we have 1 watt of power is when 1 joule of work is done in 1 second and 1 kilowatt hour is 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joules so with that we finished the lesson wasn't it so fast like in 6 minutes we actually finished the whole revision of lesson now let me tell you how to use this notes effectively for exams now you have got a full glimpse of this notes it's time to tell you how to use this notes effectively for your exams let's say you have a unit test or a chapter and assessment or even an exam in which this lesson is in the syllabus so i need to score full in each and every question i get from this lesson how do i do it it's very simple so okay let's uh, we are not going to be thinking of any cases where you already know the lesson or you do not know the lesson let's say your amount of knowledge in this lesson is zero this is how i learn this lesson personally and i feel like it's actually you know uh, proven for me personally so what i did is you all have to do is read the ncert textbook because one of the mistakes i made in learning physics is watching lectures i do not know if this actually works for a lot of you but i thought if i watch a lecture i would understand this lesson better but yeah that happens in other subjects but in physics i personally feel that i understand the lesson properly only when i go through the whole textbook actually because in ncert it's so clear and so very simple in physics other subjects i would not like to make any comment about but in physics first read the ncert textbook you understand you do not understand that's another thing but make sure you read the whole lesson from start till the end full stop you're reading every single thing that's a must you have to do it at least for me okay so read the whole ncert and after that come and read this notes once so you're seeing the notes for the first time you do not you did not make it so you would probably have some confusion so read the whole notes once it's very small it's only one page not even one page one and a half sides so read the whole notes once then close your eyes and imagine the notes so this is called as photographic memory and it's a very very nice study me method it's actually scientifically proven and i use it visualize the notes so that's why i've added a lot of color only because for visualization i am personally a visual learner so when i visualize things when i see things with color with diagrams with points i remember it better so then you're going to close your eyes and remember this notes if you cannot then read the notes again and then close your eyes and remember and you see you can have you can make your own questions i've already given a question like that you can make your own questions and ask yourself so once you are like okay i know the whole theory behind this i'm done solve problems solve as many questions as possible from this particular chapter i'm using the oswald question bank because that's the only use it i mean like i bought it for that particular use so i use the oswald question bank and there a lot of questions are there so i use it 
and then keep a timer or if you want you can do this for how many ever time how much of a time you want solve numericals numericals are very important to be solved physics is like a brother of math it has so many problems in it i'm feeling sad for you physics because you have a lot of problems but anyways uh yeah solve numericals so solve as much as numericals as possible and voila you're done you're a master in this so, lesson yeah anyways as i was saying please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends family and uh, subscribe to my channel until then this is mika signing off bye bye guys see you in the next video here's a big shout out to every single person who has commented in my channel liked my videos and even subscribed to my channel comments a small word a simple thing but that has made a huge difference in one's life Isn't it amazing how it works? Whenever I'm sad or feeling upset, all I have to do is read some of your comments, and that's it. And I'm up and ready. Thank you so much for all this love you're showering on me, which is really magnanimous and surprising. Thank you so much for adding that extra light and making my days even more special. Thank you.